as a uh, fellow skier and also as someone who doesn't like heights very much, it grabbed me pretty quickly. Uh, the fact that your brother was praying at the beginning of this adventure uh, told me something was going to happen, something adventurous, something daring, something dangerous was going to happen. So I appreciate the drama of it all. Uh, I think you were a very confident presenter. Uh, you, you, you captivated us here, and, and just with the praying, I was thinking, what's going to happen? And we soon knew what was going to happen. So very confident presentation, very good use of pauses, uh, particularly the beginning. Uh, and a good use of drama and dramatic, dramatic language, words such as the abyss and being tied together, uh, relying on one another. All those things kind of conjured up this danger uh, and, and this feeling that we knew we were on the adventure with you. Um, the part about standing on that very narrow edge, which you described very well, putting the rope and being tied together and trusting that one leader really, really sunk in on me. I, I gave a twitch as I was over there. Well, I'm glad I'm not there. So, uh, so great. That's a great story when you can do that, when you can have that reaction in people. Um, there were three challenges. I, I, I counted two. I don't know if you mentioned the third one or called out the third one. We had the ice wedge and the ice cave. Um, so I had those two. I didn't know if there was a third challenge. But I, I do know that the analogy of being tied together, not only in a very dangerous adventure, but also in life at a Toastmaster meeting, wherever we might be, uh, was great. I like that analogy. That we are all tethered together, we're all trusting one another. There's leadership, there's peers, there's people that are uh, like the gentleman you mentioned who slipped a couple of times. I love that. There was a little bit of drama there. We felt a little bit sorry for that particular gentleman who was probably more fearful than the rest. But that was a good, good uh, avenue into the characters that, that you were portraying. So, of the characters, you had you, you had your brother, you had the leader, you had the gentleman who slipped a couple of times. So, that was a great use of characters. And if you were objectives in the speech manual that said we wanted to have a story with characters and dialogue. And the one thing I thought maybe you could add to it was maybe some dialogue. Uh, and that might give us a window into how each of those people felt, each of those characters felt. Uh, I'm not sure how that would exactly work, but dialogue was one of, the, one of the items that they mentioned in here. But it was a really enjoyable story. Uh, we, could, we could see the blue ice, we could see the drama, we could see the, the danger that was associated with it. And we also felt that trust. Uh, at each stage, there was more and more danger. And if we weren't going to trust one another, if we weren't tethered to one another, boy, it was going to be a really tough battle. So thank you so much for the analogy, as well as the fun story. Um, next time, I'm going to tether myself to the chair, so I'm not as good as heights. Great job, before we're here.